Now NASA is still united, NASA is still solid, but uh, the two lawyer principals within NASA are resisting Raila. <laughs> Wetangula and Mudavadi are telling the lawyers that Raila has betrayed us. He has removed one of our own from the Senate, and therefore we must make sure that is not in the picture when the 2022 presidential elections come around. Luya leaders are telling the world, and they're telling their people, Raila Odinga is not to be trusted. Now what I find very interesting is that the lawyers on the ground do not agree with that position. A vast majority of them do not. And that is according to my very credible information. Okay? But if you doubt, just take a look at uh, the reaction. Yeah, maybe you can review the clips where these people talk. Yeah? The crowd, in most cases, just laughs. Yeah? There's no strong support. There are no mamas of anger. Yeah? They're just laughing. Interested, fascinating at these unfolding events. Yeah? But I can tell you today here, very categorically, they do not support their leaders. Now you may ask Chris, what are they saying? I'll tell you what they're saying. In a nutshell, most of them are saying, what is this now? Yeah? We are talking about electoral justice. We are talking about removing an illegitimate government. Yeah? Now, what is this about Raila Odinga? Yeah? Why has the agenda been changed to one of uh, fighting Raila? How is that relevant to improving the lives of Kenyans? How is that relevant to giving Kenyans electoral justice? Yeah? Now, that's not me talking. That's the people on the ground talking. Now, this next statement is me talking. Yeah, I find it uh, hilarious that somebody would want to discuss the 2022 elections yeah, when we have not dealt with the issue of uh, electoral justice. To me, anybody talking in that matter, in that manner, is supporting the effort to scuttle electoral justice. Anybody talking like that wants the status quo maintained. Because when we are busy talking about Raila in 2022, and uh, various parties fighting for the 2022 election, we forget the huge elephant filling the sitting room. And the huge elephant filling the sitting room is electoral justice. Sincerely, how do you expect to win the 2022 elections? Yeah, when we know that elections in Kenya, up to this point in time, are not free and fair. In my mind, the only reason you talk it like that, the only reason... There cannot be two reasons. There can only be one reason why you're talking like that. And that reason would be that you have already talked to those people in the computer room. Yeah? You know those people who do pop, 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 and they produce a president. You've already talked to those guys. And you've already organized how they're going to do that and make you president. That would be the only motive yeah, for abandoning talk about electoral justice to focus on 2022. That would be the only reason for someone to do that, for any sane person to do that. It's like you have an upcoming game, okay, and you already know that the referee will be from that team you are going to uh, play football against, yes, and you already know that ref is going to be biased, and you already know that ref has a track record of being biased. He has already done it to you before, he has already done it to other teams, and then you focus on discussing strategy of the game, <laughs> when you should actually be discussing the referee first because you need a level playing ground first for any strategy to work without a level playing field discussing strategy discussing uh, this move and that move is just pure stupidity I'm sorry I don't have any other better word to discuss it yeah, to, 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 to describe it yeah anyway the explanation for the latest uh, unfolding events is in an early recording I made. You remember where I said the new toxic NASA? Yeah, this is exactly what is unfolding. But I think the biggest shock will come to those lawyer leaders when they realize, despite all their campaigns, their talking and so on and so forth, the people are not with them. That will be the big shock. The big shock will be that it is no longer viable in Kenya that when you have a problem you as an individual politically, it will no longer be viable for you to rush back to your tribe and start talking in vernacular 
and starting hit, start hitting out at uh, people, yeah, and seeing they're finishing the community, yeah, telling people the lies that the removal of Wetangula was an effort to finish the entire Luya community. Now that is hilarious. That statement alone is hilarious because we know in the Senate there were people who uh, come from Western Kenya, very senior senators, former A.G. Wako and many others, very solid uh, people in politics, yeah, not, not uh, rookies. Okay? And the interesting thing is that none of these people voted to retain Wetangula. The vote to remove Wetangula was unanimous. And it was not done by ODM senators. It was done by NASA senators right across the board. Why isn't anybody talking about that? <laughs> of course, it's politically inconvenient to talk about the truth and what exactly happened at the Senate for Wetangula to be removed. The truth is that Western Kenyan senators voted solidly for Bonorego, and they voted solidly for the removal of Wetangula. Those are the facts, and in the public domain. Anyway, this is politics, where the truth is completely irrelevant, and what really matters is perception. And to build that perception, Usually a lot of lies are used, which is exactly what's going on. Yeah. Until next time, this is Chris Kumakucha.